Lariat. My colleagues may have harsh opinions about Elias' musical talents, but I see Elias as a man who's just four to one all over WWE. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. Throughout his time in WWE, Elias has demonstrated an ability to defeat up and comers and veterans alike. Sometimes with a six string on their back. Look, there's no doubting Elias' ability inside the ring. I just wish he'd take up something like making model airplanes instead of live music performances, if those qualify as such. Byron, I know in preparation for this match you were studying footage of Ricochet. Did you learn anything? I tried to study tape of Ricochet, but I kept on hitting rewind on the VCR because everything was just so unreal. He's a real stick of dynamite with the innovative maneuvers he pulls off. Elbow drop with authority. Beautiful senton. He might have it. Byron, I don't think people rewind tapes and VCRs anymore. It's all... Ooh, what impact. But did he go for it too early? It's the same to be the last person standing in the ring, but there are only up into the electric chair. Oh my God! A German Elias. Here's his moment, Michael. Uh oh, this might be the end of Elias tonight. And maybe not. Oh boy, he is rolling. Byron, right, you made a great point earlier when talking about the different strategy. Is there's the last competitor eliminated? It's over. We got our money's worth with that one. Take a look. Overall, this match was average at best. But not every match is going to be memorable. In fact, I've almost forgotten it happened already. Here's your winner and the new Intercontinental Champion, Kenny Omega. Big win here in this elimination style match. To be the last one standing after such a grueling encounter is beyond amazing, Michael. Wow. Just wow. I'm speechless. What an amazing match.